Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for coming back and watching another wonderful hoof trimming video. In this video, you guys will notice that this cow has a severely swollen toe there in the middle, which I'm carving the debris out of. That swelling around the heel is a telltale sign that she will need a block. I took this video at a different angle, so I would hopefully be able to show you guys um, the heel depth of these cows. So heel depth is completely determinate from where the hairline starts and pretty much where the trimming ends will show you the depth of her heel or where the flat sole starts, should I say. In any situation, whenever there's a swollen hoof and we're trying to relieve weight off it, that heel depth is pertinent to be higher on the good toe and lower on the bad toe. In turn, that is what the block accomplishes. As I've stated in previous videos, some of the swelling could be due to infection as well as the lack of blood flow. When the digital cushion within the heel is not flexed, the blood has a hard time returning to the heart. In turn, it ends up pooling in the hoof. It's a long distance from a hoof of a cow back to the heart. So now you'll see that I'm trying to clean out some of these cracks, removing some of the debris, and just trying to identify where the root of this problem is. This is kind of a complicated issue because besides the swelling, there's that crack up top in the bulb of the heel, as well as some bruising and some cracking near the tip of the toe. As you can see along the top of that line where my knife is now, there's still a lot of disruption in that white line, in turn creating a whole problem on the entire bottom of the hoof of this cow. Because sometimes, in order to make a cow feel better, we're able to leave parts of hooves to allow that part of the hoof to obtain weight. In this case, she's gonna need to be fully removed of her weight off of that bad toe. And you can even see here where I'm coming up where there's cracking along the wall of that hoof. This in turn will take longer to heal because that wall is a lot harder and it does grow at a slower rate than the sole out the bottom. As you guys watch this video, keep in mind that this cow is close to her dry off period, which will actually allow her to rest that hoof. When they're milking, they go to a parlor and they stand to wait to get milked for a certain amount of time. And then they also have to stand at feed and try to recover all the energy that they lost while producing all that milk. So going into a dry period, she'll actually be able to rest that hoof even more and take more weight off it than she normally could be as a full-fledged milking cow. I hope you guys enjoyed these videos. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.